What is going on guys, I'm MKC Technology and welcome to another tech video. In today's video I'm going to show you how to game, stream, and record on the same computer. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel now. Like for more videos and comment down below. All the links to my social media is in the description box down below. So please be sure to check that out. With that being said, let's get started. and record on the same PC what you want to do is make sure that you have two graphics cards in your system uh, and then from there you want to also make sure OBS studio is also in, downloaded and installed on your computer now to prove that I have two graphics cards in my system I'm gonna open up the Radeon settings and I'm gonna go into system and it shows that I have a RX 590 and a RX 560 graphics card in my computer now now that I have shown that I have two graphics cards in my system, let's get into setting up OBS Studio uh, to uh, game, stream, and record on the same PC. Now let's go into OBS Studio. Let's go into your settings. From here, you want to go into output and then change the output mode into advanced. You want to put that into advanced mode. Your encoder has to be set to whatever encoder that your secondary graphics card is using. So if you have an NVIDIA graphics card, then you want to use your NVENC encoder. But if you're using an AMD graphics card, you want to use your Advanced Media Framework uh, encoder, which is your H.264 or H.265. Now, for me, I have an AMD graphics card. So for my streaming settings, I only have H.264, but for Recording I have h.265 which I'm not gonna really get into my recording settings until after I'm done with my streaming settings uh, But yeah Now that I've set my encoder to h.264 What I want to do is I want to set my preset so I'm gonna guess you guys are setting your preset for twitch or YouTube so let's go into twitch let's pick twitch and uh, let's set my prepass to enabled from here you also once you have set your encoder you'll also get a another setting which is your view mode it will be by default it will be set to basic what you want to do is set that to master so you get the rest of the settings that you're supposed to get in order to uh, get OBS to choose your secondary graphics card to encode your stream or your recording now um, sorry, I'm a little bit sick right now, but yeah. So once you have set your view mode to master, what you want to do is set your quality prepass, which by default is balance, which I keep it on balance. But if you want more quality, you can set it for more quality. If you want to want it to encode at a faster speed, you can set to set it to speed. Now. For your coding type, you want to set it to CALVC. Your prepass mode has to be set to enable. Your target bitrate is set on how fast your internet speed is. Now, there is an application that you can use that tells you what to set your bitrate to based on what your in, uh, what your internet speed is. I forget the name of the application, but if I do find it, I will leave a link to it in the description box down below. Now for your VBAQ, you want to set that to enable. From there, you want to scroll all the way down. And for your video adapter settings, you want to set that to your secondary graphics card, which for me is my RX 560. Now the reason I do this is so that way when I'm gaming, my computer actually chooses my RX 590 graphics card to uh, to game, and then when I want to make a recording or do a stream while I'm playing a game, it doesn't. Uh, I don't lose any performance on my RX 590. The only thing that's going to be used to encode my stream or my recording is my RX 560. So that's why I have two graphics cards in my computer now. When you're doing, 
when you're gaming, streaming, and recording on the same computer using this method, you want to make sure the graphics card that you, graphics cards that you are using are of the same family. So if you have a GTX series graphics card, then you can only use a GTX series graphics card. If you have a RTX series graphics card, you can only use an RTX series graphics card. If you have an RX series graphics card, then you can only use an RX series graphics card. Now, if you have an HD Radeon series graphics card, then you, you can only use an HD Radeon series graphics card, and so on and so forth. Now, now that I have set my RX 560 so to be used to encode my stream or my recording, Let's get into the recording settings for OBS Studio. Now, from here, within your recording settings, your recording format should be set to MKV, so that way when you want to convert it to MP4, you can use it. You can use OBS Studio to convert it to MP4. Now, for your encoder, you can set it to H.264 or H.265. I've had a lot of problems with H.265 in the past. Like, for instance, sometimes when I'm making a recording using H.265 or making a stream using H.265, sometimes whatever is being shown on screen doesn't show up on the recording or on the stream. And sometimes the audio is not being recorded either. So that's one of the problems or some of the problems that I have using H.265. Now, for your pre-pass, you want to set it to near lossless recording. Quality preset set to balance, and then your view mode set to master. From here, your coding type has to be set to CALVC. Scroll down, and your keyframe interval has to be set to the number two. Scroll down, and then your video adapter has to be set to H. I mean, not H.264, but your Radeon RX 560 or any other secondary graphics card that you do have in your system. From here, within your output settings, go into your audio settings right here. Change that to 192 all the way around. From here, go into audio. Go into so your sample rate settings and then change that to... 48 Hertz now from here the devices that you want to choose is basically up to your opinion or what you want to set it to for me if I want to change my desktop audio I can change it to this one right here which is basically the monitor or whatever screen that I do want my the audio to be to recorded to now for your video settings for your video settings now if you are streaming you want to set your output scaled res resolution to 720p and your base canvas to the resolution of your primary monitor that you're going to be using to record or stream. Now, if you're recording, you want to you can actually set it to 1080p. Uh, if you're just recording a regular tutorial, you can set it to 1080p. But if you are recording a gameplay, I suggest keeping it on 720p. Now, your downscale filter, set it to the last one, which is this one right here. Sharpened scale scaling to six, 36 samples. And then for your FPS, you can set it to 30 or 60. Depending on how high-end your hard, hardware is within your computer now for your advanced options you can set this to whichever one you want for your video settings right here you can set it to whichever one you want but for your general settings right here set it to high this is only if you're recording now if you are streaming you can set it to high depending on how uh, high-end your hardware is within your computer but if your hardware isn't that high end, like it's mid range or low low range type of hardware, you can set it to normal or you can set it to below normal. Do not set it to idle. Do not set it to idle. But that's the settings that you can choose or use to game and record on the same computer. 
that'll be it for today, guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please be sure to leave a like, comment down below. My name is MKC Technology. I'm out. Brother, let's call it in the crossfire. <laughs> Let's call it in the crossfire